What if you woke up tomorrow and discovered that the entire factory production system you knew no longer required a single human? No, it's not science fiction and it's not a distant dream. In the cutting-edge world of automation, robots aren't just assistants. They're the workers themselves. In fact, some of the most advanced factories today are running entirely on robotic systems, where machines not only build products, but handle logistics, make critical decisions, and even ensure everything operates without human intervention. This is not an exaggeration. It's a mind-bending reality that's unfolding in front of our eyes. The rise of robots in factories. A reality we can't ignore. Here's a mind-blowing fact. As of 2024, thousands of factories around the world have fully embraced automation. And in some cases, robots are running the entire show. The industrial robot market has seen a meteoric rise over the past few years, fueled by advancements in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotic technologies. In countries like Japan, South Korea, and Germany, the presence of robots on factory floors is so ubiquitous that entire production lines operate with little to no human involvement. Imagine a factory floor where robotic arms move seamlessly, autonomously assembling, welding, or even packaging products. These robots have sensors and AI-driven decision-making processes that allow them to operate without human oversight. The bizarre reality is that these robots have become so capable that they now handle tasks with greater speed, accuracy, and efficiency than human workers ever could. Robots used to be confined to specific tasks, mainly welding, painting, and packaging in automotive manufacturing, but now they are doing much more. In some of the most futuristic factories, robots are doing things that were once unimaginable. They can perform quality control checks using sophisticated vision systems, handle inventory management, and even predict and repair equipment failures before they happen. AI-powered robots can now identify problems, troubleshoot, and even self-correct if something goes wrong during production. It's like a self-sustaining ecosystem where robots operate, maintain, and evolve without human interaction. For example, in China's high-tech factories, robots are becoming fully integrated into the production workflow, making real-time decisions, adjusting processes, and even communicating with other machines to keep the entire operation running smoothly. It's a dizzying concept to grasp. Machines that are essentially running factories, and in many cases, are smarter than the humans who once oversaw them. So, how do these robot-run factories work, and is it really possible for them to operate completely autonomously? The answer is surprisingly simple. A combination of advanced robotics, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and cloud computing is enabling these factories to function with minimal to no human input. Take autonomous vehicles, for instance. Self-driving cars rely on machine learning to process vast amounts of data from their surroundings and make decisions in real time. Now, imagine that same technology applied to a factory. Robots in these environments are constantly analyzing data, adjusting to changes, and making critical decisions on the fly. With the help of cloud-based systems, robots can receive real-time updates, access an enormous database of information, and even communicate with each other to ensure the smooth running of operations. In these futuristic factories, robots perform assembly, quality control, inventory management, and even shipping logistics without human assistance. And if a problem arises, the robots don't call for help, they fix it themselves. It's a self-sustaining loop, where the robots adapt and solve issues as they come up. You might be asking, why are these fully autonomous factories becoming a reality now? And what's driving this technological leap? The answer lies in a perfect storm of technological advancements and market needs. First, robots have become far more affordable and capable in recent years. Artificial intelligence has become more accessible, and machine learning algorithms have vastly improved the capabilities of robots to perform complex tasks. Second, there is a growing need for efficiency and scalability in production. With a labor shortage and rising costs for human workers, automating entire factories has become a viable solution for many manufacturers. In fact, many large corporations like Tesla, Foxconn, and even Amazon are investing heavily in robotic automation as a way to cut costs, increase productivity, and reduce human error. Lastly, the global supply chain disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic have spurred companies to rethink their reliance on human labor. Factories that are entirely automated can run 24-7 without worrying about labor shortages or restrictions. As we stand on the brink of this new industrial revolution, the question becomes, what does this mean for workers, industries, and economies? For one, job displacement is a major concern. The automation of entire factories has already led to layoffs in certain sectors, and the more advanced the robots become, 
the fewer human workers are needed. But this is only part of the story. While automation may cause disruption in traditional jobs, it also creates new opportunities. Skilled workers in robotics, AI, and machine maintenance are in high demand. Moreover, the rise of automated factories could revolutionize entire industries. For example, sectors like electronics, automotive manufacturing, and consumer goods will become hyper-efficient, producing goods faster and cheaper than ever before. But it's not just about efficiency. It's about how automation is shaping the future of global competition. Countries with the most advanced automated factories will likely have an edge in production and global trade. Of course, no technological leap is without its challenges. One of the most bizarre and mind-bending consequences of robot-run factories is the potential for over-reliance on automation. What happens if a system fails, or a robot malfunctions during an essential part of production? Unlike humans who can quickly adapt to new situations, robots may struggle to handle unforeseen circumstances without human intervention. Another strange consequence of automation is the social and ethical issues that arise. The rise of robotic labor has raised questions about the future of work, the ethics of replacing human workers, and the societal impact of mass unemployment. And then there's the issue of security. As factories become more reliant on robotic systems and AI, the risk of cyber attacks or system malfunctions becomes a real concern. If hackers gain access to an autonomous factory, the damage could be catastrophic. So what's next for this mind-boggling wave of automation? We've only scratched the surface. In the coming years, we can expect robots to become even more autonomous, capable of taking on more complex tasks and making more advanced decisions. Already, companies are experimenting with robots that can design their own production processes and optimize factories in real time. And as artificial intelligence continues to evolve, we'll likely see the next generation of robotic workers take over even more industries. It may not be long before entire industries, beyond manufacturing, are run almost entirely by machines. The future of work is being reshaped right before our eyes and robots are leading the charge. So, is a future where robots run entire factories a good thing or a bad thing? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the rise of automation is changing the way we work, produce, and live. With robots taking over factory floors, we're entering a new era where machines are not just tools, but the very workers who build our future. It's an incredible, mind-bending transformation that's both thrilling and a little terrifying. But the robots are here to stay, and the world will have to adapt. And perhaps, in the not-too-distant future, the world will look back and wonder, did we ever really need humans in the factory in the first place?